Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another Christmas in July project. This card features lots of new products by Spellbinders, Plaid Tidings Background, Glitter Wishes, Parcel and Post Christmas Decorations, and the star of the show, Ice Skate. I'm going to start with the skate assembly. It has been die cut two times from white cardstock. I've also cut the bottom portion of the die with black cardstock and silver foil. One of the skates will be used as a base to paper piece the skate together. The score line that is between the sole and the boot of the skate makes it easy to trim the black sole off of the die cut. I'll follow along that same score line on the white skate. On the silver foil die cut, I just snip off the top of the posts for the blade. Before I adhere the skate to the base die cut, I'm first going to use a little bit of scotch tape and snug in the black sole tight to the boot of the skate. A colorful background has been created using rainbow hot foil and plaid tidings background hot foil plate on black cardstock. One of the rectangular dies from their nesting die set was used to cut down the panel. To assemble the skate, I'm going to begin by attaching the silver foil blade to the base die cut. Before the boot is adhered to the base, I'm first going to lace it up using some embroidery floss. This is a pretty combination of white and silver threads. It will add just a little bit of sparkle to those laces. I work back and forth between each pair of holes to create a crisscross effect for the laces. To help reduce the bulk at the back of the skate, I start and end my stitching by holding down those thread ends with a little piece of scotch tape. You'd like more information on any of the products that I've used to make today's card, you'll find links in the description of this YouTube video or on my blog at bonniecarolee.com. The boot will be adhered to the skate with low profile foam tape. The boot will sit a little bit higher over the blade, giving it a three dimensional appearance. The background panel is adhered to black foam and then onto an A2 size card base. Make sure that there's good contact between the card base and the foam. I pop my Misty on top until the glue is dry. One of the sentiments from Glitter Wishes was foiled on black cardstock and then die cut with the accompanying die and I just trim off the ends. The sentiment strip will be adhered to the panel with a foam strip. This will give it a little bit of dimension and the skate will literally sit on top of it. Whenever I have lots of die cutting and the die cuts are small, I like to use my Sizzix Sidekick. This is a very convenient. I just have it right at my workstation and can sit comfortably and die cut away. I'm using a really sweet die set called Parcel and Post Christmas Decorations. This set includes everything that you need to add a festive flair to your cards, right down to the Christmas candy. After the die cutting is done, there's a little bit of layering to do for some of the pieces like the Christmas candies. Berries are added to the Christmas greenery and the bow has been die cut three times to give it lots of dimension on the card. Dot of glue is used in the center and when it's dry I can flare those end pieces upwards. The backing paper is removed from the foam on the sentiment strip and it is centered at the bottom of the panel. I'm going to use some more of the low profile foam tape to the back of the skate to adhere it. That dimension in addition to the dimension of the foam tape that was used to attach the boot to the skate will equal that of the foam on the sentiment strip. For any of the decorations are adhered to the skate, I first put together a grouping. And what's a pair of figure skates without pom-poms? The tiny pom-poms are going to be placed where I want the laces to end. 
I'll trim off the excess floss after the glue has dried. And I had another pom-pom that was just a little bit bigger and perfect for the base of the eyelets. Ice skating is an important part of Canadian culture, and I think pom-poms are too. Liquid adhesive is used to attach the greenery, but where it overhangs from the skate, I also use foam squares. After the excess floss is trimmed off of the laces, I add in the Christmas candy. I finish up by adding in a couple of little star die cuts at the top of the skate. The berries on the Christmas greenery are finished off with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. And I wanted that candy to have some shine, so I've added some Nouveau Crystal Glaze. One of the evergreen boughs is overhanging the candy. I just lift it and prop it up with my scissors. And so I decided that the candy cane needed some shine too. So I popped the bow off, added in the glaze, and when it's dry, I'll put the bow back on. And that completes this fun and colorful Christmas card featuring new products by Spellbinders. To get the jump on Christmas, you're sure to be inspired by all of the wonderful new products that Spellbinders has released. I hope you'll join me for another Christmas in July post. As always, I appreciate your visit.